Deep learning is a subfield of AI and ML that deals with algorithms inspired by the structure and function of the human brain's neural networks. These algorithms attempt to learn hierarchical representations of data, often in the form of complex patterns or features, from data inputs. Let's get started. Deep learning are artificial neural networks, which are computational models consisting of interconnected nodes, or neurons, organized in layers. Each neuron receives input signals, processes them, and produces an output signal, which may then be passed on to other neurons in the network. Through a process called training, where the network is exposed to large amounts of labeled data, such as images, text, or sound, Deep learning models adjust their internal parameters to learn the underlying patterns and relationships within the data. How deep learning works. Deep learning uses artificial neural networks to perform sophisticated computations on large amounts of data. Deep learning works by mimicking the structure and function of the human brain's neural networks to learn patterns and representations from the data. Deep learning focuses on using deep neural networks with many layers to model complex patterns in large data sets. A neural network is structured like the human brain and consists of artificial neurons, also known as nodes. It consists of layers of interconnected nodes or neurons, where each connection has a weight that is adjusted during training. These nodes are stacked next to each other in three layers, the input layer, the hidden layers, and the output layer. Input layer. The input layer accepts the raw data and pass it to the rest of the network. Hidden layer. The hidden layers are either one or more in number for a neural network. Hidden layers are the ones that are actually responsible for the excellent performance and complexity of neural networks. They perform multiple functions at the same time, such as data transformation, automatic feature creation, output layer. The output layer holds the result or the output of the problem, produces the final prediction or classification. For example, consider you have input data dogs, birds, cats, images, and this image data sets pass to deep neural networks that train the model and predicts the images in output layer. In deep learning, we used convolutional neural networks algorithms for image data sets. This algorithm is efficient for detecting objects on images, videos, and real time. Here, input image is bird, so the output predicts as bird. Deep learning concepts. Data preparation. Deep learning models require large amounts of labeled data for training. This data could be images, text, audio, or any other form of structured or unstructured data. The data is pre-processed to normalize, scale, and augment it as needed. Neural network. Deep learning models are built using artificial neural networks, which consist of layers of interconnected nodes or neurons. The neurons in each layer are connected to neurons in the adjacent layers. The neural network, including the number of layers, the number of neurons in each layer and the connections between them is designed based on the specific task and data. Forward propagation. During the training process, data is fed into the neural network through the input layer. The data passes through the network layer by layer, with each layer performing a transformation on the input data. This process is called forward propagation. The output of the final layer is the model's prediction or output. Back propagation. Backpropagation is a mathematical algorithm used to update the model's parameters that is weights and biases based on the gradients of the loss function with respect to the model's parameters. This process involves propagating the error backward through the network, calculating the gradients, and using optimization techniques such as gradient descent to update the parameters in the direction that reduces the loss. Backpropagation is a method used to train neural networks by adjusting the weights to minimize the error between predicted and actual outputs. It involves a forward pass to compute predictions and a backward pass to update weights based on the error gradients. This iterative process helps the network learn and improve its accuracy. Backward propagation is the process of moving from right that is output layer to left input layer. Forward propagation is the way data moves from left that is input layer to right that is output layer in the neural network. A neural network can be understood by a collection of connected input or output nodes. Loss calculation. The output of the model is compared to the ground truth labels or targets using a loss function, which measures the difference between the predicted output and the actual output. 
The goal of training is to minimize this loss function by adjusting the model's parameters. Training iterations. The training process involves iteratively feeding batches of data through the network, calculating the loss, performing backpropagation to update the parameters, and adjusting the model's weights and biases to minimize the loss. This process continues until the model converges to a satisfactory level of performance or until a stopping criterion is met. Validation and testing. After training, the model is evaluated on a separate validation dataset to assess its performance and generalization ability. This step helps to identify any overfitting or underfitting issues. Once validated, the model can be deployed and tested on unseen data to evaluate its real-world performance. Types of activation functions in deep learning. Sigmoid function. Threshold function. ReLU rectified linear unit function. Hyperbolic tangent function. Sigmoid function. The sigmoid function is used when the model is predicting probability. Threshold function. The threshold function is used when you don't want to worry about the uncertainty in the middle. ReLU function. The ReLU rectified linear unit function gives the value but says if it's over 1, then it will just be 1, and if it's less than 0, it will just be 0. The ReLU function is most commonly used these days. Hyperbolic tangent function. The hyperbolic tangent function is similar to the sigmoid function, but has a range of minus 1 to 1. Deep learning algorithms. Convolutional neural networks. Recurrent neural networks. Long short-term memory networks. Generative adversarial networks. Transformer networks. Autoencoders. Deep learning applications. Image and video processing. Deep learning is used in facial recognition, object detection, and image enhancement. It helps in identifying patterns in images for tasks like medical imaging. Applications like real-time video processing improve visual experiences in entertainment and surveillance. Natural language processing. Deep learning models like GPT-3 generates human-like text used in chatbots, content creation, translation, and sentiment analysis. They enable chatbots to interact fluently with users. NLP is also applied in document summarization and content recommendation. Healthcare. Deep learning aids in the early diagnosis of diseases through medical image analysis. It supports personalized treatment plans by analyzing patient data. Models predict disease outbreaks and assist in drug discovery. Autonomous vehicles. Deep learning is used for real-time object detection, helping vehicles navigate and avoid obstacles. It processes sensor data, like LiDAR, and cameras to understand the environment. Autonomous driving systems rely on these models for decision-making. Finance. Deep learning models predict stock market trends and optimize investment strategies. Fraud detection systems use neural networks to identify unusual transactions. Credit scoring and loan approval processes benefit from automated risk assessment. Robotics. Deep learning enhances robot vision and decision-making for navigation and task execution. Robots in warehouses use AI for sorting, picking, and packing. Industrial robots apply deep learning for quality control and assembly lines. Entertainment. Deep learning powers recommendation systems on streaming platforms like Netflix. It enables realistic visual effects and animation in movies. AI-generated music and video content are on the rise, driven by deep learning models. Speech recognition. Deep learning allows virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa to understand natural language. It converts speech into text with high accuracy, used in transcription services. Real-time language translation relies on deep learning-powered speech models. Agriculture. Deep learning models analyze crop health using satellite images and sensors. Automated machines powered by deep learning can perform tasks like planting, watering, and harvesting. Predictive models forecast crop yields and optimize farming practices. Cybersecurity. Deep learning helps detect cyber threats by analyzing network traffic patterns. It enhances malware detection through behavior analysis. AI-driven security systems can identify vulnerabilities and mitigate risks in real time.